so yeah, as I sort of saying, I love, I, I have a, such a passion for, for food and, and for cinemas. So this was like my perfect film. But did you already have a, an inbuilt passion uh, for cooking and, and for, for food? I can have the passion for cooking, but every day it's not a passion, it's a duty. And I don't always have that, you know, that love of cooking, but I'm, at least I'm trying to, to get nice green ingredients to, uh, to enjoy it. So if you were hosting a dinner party, what would be your signature dish? Oh, God. Um, I have a binder where I have all my recipes. And I often, you know, I often do the same. But sometimes I try on the internet to try to look for something new. Um, no, I'm trying to change it, you know, really. Uh, I, I don't want to give you an idea that is not real. Um, I mean, I've been trying tagine. I've been trying the salmon with a, you know, the crust uh, on top and with the spinach and the cream, uh, with the low muscade. I don't know how you say that in English. And uh, I mean, I've, I'm trying pot au feu. I've done many, many times. But I wanted to ask about the sort of technical side of this production and how those kind of cooking scenes were created. Because unlike a usual scene, if a director says cut, you can just go back to the start. But I guess if you've already started cooking onions or the fish is half cooked, I wondered about the kind of creation of those sequences and if a lot of patience was required. No, no, there was no creation on the spot. <laughs> it was already, you know, looked after very much so. And we had, in case we needed to start again, we had what we needed to start again. So there was, you know, we were following a map that was chosen with the chef Pierre Gagnier and chosen also with the director Hung. And we had a, the right arm of the chef that was with us, Michel Nav, who was really looking after us and teaching us, you know, how you would do this and, uh, and that to do specifically that dish. I mean, it was a real, I mean, the magic of the movies, because it's such a masterclass in filmmaking, I think. I mean, this is a filmmaker you said you've wanted to work with before. I wondered if you've reached a point in your career where wanting to work with someone can be enough for you to make a decision. Because I know, I know, obviously, the script and the characters are always important. But if there's someone you've wanted to work with, can if they say, I'd like to work with you, can you just say, yeah, sure? Yes. <laughs> and... But I'd like to see the script. <laughs> no, uh, like uh, Dumont, Pierre, uh, Bruno Dumont, I said yes to his film. But I, I've, I was already in the film. I hadn't, I hadn't read anything. Uh, uh, I hadn't read anything. Um, but what he did is, uh, at a certain point, before shooting, I said, "You have to tell me what what I'm going through in the film." Because I'm here, I have to prepare a little bit. You've got to help me. So he started telling, describing what he had written because there was a script. He didn't want me to have it. So he started describing. And so I wrote on the tablecloth, you know, on the paper table, tablecloth at the restaurant what was seen one, scene two, scene three, scene three. So I was, you know, writing on the, on the spot the script. And then the following day, he said, no, I forgot. I made a mistake. This is coming before that. And my... so finally, I, re I had that sort of map of what we were going to shoot. Yeah, I mean, because of course he's, he's Vietnamese, but the, the film feels very undeniably uh, kind of French and it really celebrates a very major part of French culture, which is its cuisine. Do you think in some ways having a kind of outsider's perspective helps truly appreciate French culture in a way that's quite different to you be able to do if you were looking at it from the inside? I think so, because uh, when you say the inside as French people... Yeah. Yeah, French people don't appreciate the French cuisine or the French qualities. They poo-poo it, especially when it's made in a film. <laughs> yeah, we much more appreciate it in this film and uh, outside than inside. And that's, that's sad in a way, but nul n'est prophète en son pays. Nobody's a prophet, prophet in its own country. That's from the Bible, right? That, that you you cannot have success in you know in your own country. <laughs> 
And of course, see. and of course, you were working with Benoit for the first time in I think twenty five years. I was reading. I was wondered about how you sort of found that experience, and obviously having that shared history and connection. If you felt that that really kind of helped enforce and comes inform, sorry, the the kind of performances and the experience. Definitely, I think it did that, and I think that's what's you know special in the film as well. Of course, the food, of course, the way of shooting the food. But I mean, come on, that's not. The, otherwise, we would do only a, a food uh, <laughs> food recipe kind of thing. It's the relationship that is is crucial because it's uh, it's bringing uh, the meaning of the the need of food, of the need of having a companion, a co-creator, uh, a team. You know where you 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 get, you excel in something and they. It's um, it's so beautiful when you can achieve that, that you have your heart being fulfilled with love with the person you're working with. I mean, that's the supra, supra best thing. Mm -hmm. Was it quite interesting for you to communicate via characters and via dialogue that had been written for you? Oh, definitely. I used the Hung's uh, writing very much to tell Benoit, how much I love him, no matter what, you know, no matter separation, conflicts, uh, all the stuff from behind, you know, I was just happy to be able to uh, put it upside down and, you know, uh, reconcile in a, in a very weird way because it's through a film and through character and feelings that are ours and yet written for another purpose in a way. But I use that purpose and I feel that was a real gift that uh, the director uh, gave us. I know you, sort of, you mentioned you've worked with some incredible directors now in your career and you've still got incredible directors that you're still to work with. But I wondered if you've ever considered directing or stepping in. I mean, do you still think yeah. that one day perhaps we might see you in that, yeah, in that yeah, role? Yeah, probably. But I've been very spoiled as an actress. So it's very hard to find, you know, get moments to stop and 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 have the time to write and, and, and go for it. But it's in my mind. And what sort of film do you reckon you'd make? Have you got a... Is there a style? Is there? I mean, is there a style of filmmaker that you've really? That's really no, and you? even you can appreciate the style of a director. It doesn't mean that you would have used the same style. And you don't want to use a style. You want to find your own way of telling things, and the way of editing, and the way of the rhythm is so important in in a film. And you know how you leave spaces inside, and how you. You, you want to cut it quick, quickly or, you know, and, and the meaning of it all and, the, you know, it's a, it's a journey. <laughs> and just going back quick to, to the cooking of, of the food. I, I know, obviously, you, know, you said before, you, you, you've, you've cooked many times before, I'm sure, but did you have to pick up any certain cooking techniques for this? Just Yeah, there were mm. techniques that, mm. you know, uh, uh, Michelle gave us, uh, and I think I did them in the film, but I forgot all of them because if you don't do it every day, it goes away. So just very finally then, did you get to eat much of the food? Because I'm assuming there must have been loads of food on set. That there was be... a lot of food and I, when I had to eat, I yeah, ate. Yeah. But otherwise I didn't eat that much because I was preparing Chanel and I had to lose oh. weight. <laughs> well, that just takes me very quickly to my final question. Playing Chanel, I mean, I've not seen that series yet, but I'm going to be watching it quite soon. How was I mean, to play an icon like that, you've, you've played such a variety of wonderful roles. Is it always different to play someone so real? Definitely, because uh, especially her, because she's uh, and somehow it's almost impossible to know who she was because she had many facets, because she had a thousand lives uh, from, you know, when she started to the end. There were different women. Uh, she's a, the thing is, she was a survivor. That is the first route, you know, and and it brought a lot of things with the survivor, you know, the fears, the 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 needs are on a very high stake, and uh, so throughout her, you know, her life, she it was she's a fascinating woman, and I had to read to read lots of different books in order to try to understand a little bit of her, because uh, coming from a very poor background. Um, she's, uh, you know, for a woman at the time, at the end of uh, 19th century, the beginning of 20th 
century was very hard, so she, she battled so deeply to, in order to survive. Yeah. And to follow her passion, because she had a real passion. It was, her skills were very special. Yeah. Well, I guess you could relate to that with your acting and your drive to become said that so, again i said i guess you could relate to that sense of will to keep to try because i mean you've as, be, as an actor you've had to work so hard i guess can you yeah well you always relate to the character you're playing because even the the, the, the most horrible ones because <laughs> you've got to find the root the human root inside in order to make it real for people to relate to if you otherwise it becomes a caricature well, I can't wait to see your version. Okay, thank you so much, <laughs> thank Julia. You much thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!